The USDA releases the results of its planning intention survey this week, Thursday, March 28th. With corn and soybean stocks at such low levels, farmers' decisions could have a big impact on markets. Farm Futures rolled out its pre-report survey on Friday. It's putting corn at 97 million acres and wheat at 56 million. Both are about even with last year. Soybeans, however, are forecast to hit 79 million acres. That would be an all-time record. Farm Director Al Pell talked with market analyst Sue Martin about planning intentions and what it means right now. This year's totally different. Uh, we have cooler weather instead of the 80s in March, abnormal for many places in the Midwest. We are very cool and below normal in many areas of the Midwest. So I think uh, that's going to hold up soil temperatures from warming up. Uh, that's going to maybe cause us to be delayed a little bit in this planting, especially in the Delta and on into the Ohio River Valley area for corn planting. If you delay this too much, that could mean more bean acres go in. In advance of the planning intentions report, our partners at AgWeb are compiling an assortment of news stories and analysis that gives an indication of what we might see from those USDA reports. The Farm Journal team compiled pre-report expectations from 10 key grain states, stretching from Texas to Pennsylvania and from Mississippi to Minnesota. The coverage looks at current planning progress and acreage expectations. The report will be released Thursday at noon Eastern Time. Corn planting has started across the south, and in Texas, about half of the corn is planted. Mississippi is in the teens. Georgia farmers have just started with 5% seeded. And in Louisiana, about 60% is planted, easily double the average pace. Still, frequent rains in Louisiana this winter put some farmers behind. We don't want extreme temperatures during pollination and filling because it does affect the, the quality of the crop and the yields of the crop. Levy says it's important that Louisiana farmers get their corn planted in March because later planted corn could suffer heat stress and have more pest problems.